BTC is dead without XRP. One of the biggest issues with Bitcoin is its scalability. You know, it's whatever it is, seven transactions or 10 transactions a second, whatever it can do, then, you know, every person in the world is going to be, if they wanted to use Bitcoin, they can make two transactions in their entire lifetime, and that would be the capacity used up. So the only way in which Bitcoin can actually kind of scale to be usable is to have additional things like layer two networks or custodial networks or whatever, that unfortunately, in making it more useful, remove a lot of the very key interesting concepts that Bitcoin is known for, right? And that Bitcoin uses. So I totally agree. Bitcoin was revolutionary. It was great when it came out. It was fantastic. And I totally agree with what you're saying in terms of its, its goals. The problem being is that from a pragmatic point of view, it's just not usable in society with the number of people that want to be able to use it, right? The transaction fees are just too high and they're going to get higher. As the mining subsidies disappear, then the fees are going to get higher and higher. And it's going to be your, you know, your banks, your rich people, whatever, they're going to use it because the everyday person is just simply not going to be able to afford to transact on Bitcoin. So they're going to have to use uh, layer twos that just most of those remove the interesting aspects that make Bitcoin unique. And like I said, the XRP ledger was created by Bitcoin developers who understood this, right? That is why they created the XRP ledger because they understood this. And one of the first use cases of the XRP ledger was to tokenize Bitcoin, right? That's why it was the first blockchain to have a DEX, the first blockchain to support tokenization because one of its early use cases was to tokenize Bitcoin and you know transact Bitcoin in a far more efficient manner.